in the kitchen. It's so much. Like I'm learning as I go where stuff is gonna go, like how it's gonna go. Like I know Rome wasn't built in a day. The Power of Now. It is by Eckhart Tolle. He has another book, Create a Better Life. That book referenced the power of now a lot in it, but I read that book first. And that helps a lot for people who are trying to just live a better life for what they're doing, that they may feel it is of great substance, but they get their mind too much into it or they get their ego too much involved, or maybe mentally they're not stable enough to continue that type of work. And so it's like creating a better life for yourself. And reading that book helped me because I have to deal with people a lot. I'm always dealing with people for my business. So I never want to feel like I'm not being at my best when dealing with others. So I try to read, you know, inspirational things just so I could kind of get an understanding of the proper way to live my life and things like that, just from someone else's perspective. Throughout the book, he referred to the power of now a lot in it. After I finished reading, I said, well, let me go get that book, too. So I got that book, and I'm reading it. It is breaking down how the purpose of being spiritually enlightened is just appreciating where you are at the present moment. And I think even with me, but with people, sometimes you get so caught up in your past and what you've been through and what's happened. And I can relate to that because that's my issue important part is what's happening now what's happening in your life right now are you dealing with problems from your past right now why is your past causing problems right now and so that's what the book breaks down to where things that you've been through is exactly what's affecting you now and somebody like me with everything i've been through i need that enlightenment to say yeah i don't want this to continue affecting me because i've been through a lot and it it shouldn't be here now, you know what I mean? Trauma does that to people, where it affects the body and the mind to where you continue to stay in whatever place you're in because of whatever you've been through. And so for me to try to heal just outside of like mental health treatment or therapy or whatever, just on my own healing, I try to look for other avenues to kind of get some more insight. And so that's why I read books and stuff. And so books like this, it's a guide to spiritual enlightenment. And a lot of people might feel weird about what it means to be spiritually enlightened, but it's just connecting with who you are and connecting back to your purpose. It's a read that some people may feel like it's overwhelming because when I was at work, there was a guy that saw it like just in my hand. He was like, oh, you're reading that book? How do you feel about it? Because it's kind of confusing. Like it's a lot because sometimes the information is hard for people to process because it's that direct and it's like, but how could it be so simple? It's that simple to the point where it almost seems complex. Mm -hmm. And people read it and they're like, I don't get it. Because it's like, it's trying to get you to that point of just understanding something so simple that people don't get, you know? So, so. Are, you, are you one of those people who think that it should be that simple? So why is it so hard? Is that something that you disagree with let's make it personal because you were talking about your personal growth and reading from this book do you have a time limit on yourself when you get over a certain trauma or when you feel like you've healed to a certain time because everybody heals just at a different pace like you can't put a time stamp on when you can heal yeah. or do you think you can because like you said it's so simple that it seems complex and it's only complex because of the human mind and the human emotion and yeah. like, how far have you matured at that time you know for you to be able to accept what is accept the things you can't can't um, change there you go or can't control yeah basically that paraphrasing mm -hmm. basically is what it means is just accept the shit that you can't control because you don't got control over any anyway yeah are you okay with your process to heal like have you allowed just have you solely given yourself it's okay for me to feel like this right now. Now I am, but I don't like how it makes me feel. That's something that I'm struggling with. Growing up, maybe it was something that I could have addressed then that wouldn't affect me so much now, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm an adult, 
I read this book and I understand exactly what they mean as far as take advantage of the present moment now because I could look back in my life and see where I've allowed whatever trauma I was dealing at the moment to mess up my present moment. And I'm like, oh, that is why I'm creating a, a not so better life for myself. So that's why I enjoy reading the first book, but it brought me back to this book to see how even more deep within myself I could fix the issues I'm creating for myself based off of what I've been through. When you experience something, you accept that as life. Like, this is my life. I'm going to accept this and just accept it as life. But as far as trying to heal, that's a choice that is scary to even think that that's an option when you've known only pain and trauma. So to read this book, I always feel triggered because I'm like, that's a little too deep in that way where it's like, am I creating my problems? Maybe I am. Not not because I want to, but because I'm not actually doing what I need to heal because it hurts. It talks about pain body and people who are experiencing pain, how they put it onto others or they want to feel it again because that's all they know. Or that's all they're used to. So when it comes to me healing, can't put a time on it. I didn't know at what point where I would get to the point where I say, okay, this suffering needs to stop. I'm trying to get in that journey of saying the suffering isn't a life I want to live. I got to protect myself from me because what if I'm causing my own suffering? Because this is the only thing I know. So that's why reading books like this helps me because it's like, mm, no, you don't need to be suffering, actually. <laughs> you got to let it go now. <laughs> You got to grow and yeah. you got to give yourself time to like forgive yourself for, it, yeah. for whatever. That wrapped up a show with Slumber Me Not. Naked Wine. That's all, folks. See you next time. We're in the studio. You all be blessed and merry. Happy 2021.